do you think that this is a sort of, cl there's clarity on what President Trump is trying to do here, considering that just last month he said, we're withdrawing troops, we're moving them out, this is not our war to fight anymore, and here suddenly he takes an about turn. Is, there, is this confusion or is this the deliberate foreign policy tactic? Um, first off, you know, you got to uh, think about Israel's security interests in the, in the region, and they cannot be separated from uh, U.S. policies uh, in Syria. So, um, and one thing, you know, during your uh, opening statement, you said uh, the, the Kurds uh, were influential in defeating ISIS, you know, uh, but uh, as it has been mentioned by so many leaders and so many even like uh, U.S. leaders, um, a coalition of forces defeated ISIS, not right. just the YPG, PKK terror group. I mean, uh, it was a coalition of uh, dozens of countries, and with only um, through the help of U.S. Air Force, um, they were able to um, do some damage to ISIS. But uh, right now, against the Syrian National Army, for example, YPG, PKK, and Syrian National Army in, are in uh, similar sizes, but Obviously, in their fight on the ground, they have uh, they had to uh, withdraw from some of the regions they have occupied. I mean, the YPG group, uh, which means they are not a strong, um, you know, fighting force on the ground as it has been depicted in the uh, in the Western media. And the U.S. decision, uh, actually, I don't call it Trump decision. Trump has its has his own ideas. You know, he wants to withdraw troops from Syria, from Afghanistan, from other parts of the country, and he wants to focus on the domestic economy, and he wants to, uh, you know, focus on China mostly because he doesn't think Russia is an enemy to the United States' interests. He doesn't think Turkey is an enemy or hostile state. Uh, he thinks China is the only rival that can really upset uh, American dominance. So you